in permanent punishment news. Oh no. Oh, submitted by Sister Crunch. <laughs> oh, that's a funny name. That's a good crunch. Tattoo artist inks the forehead of a teen after catching him stealing. <laughs> that's so Ooh. fucking dope. Is this in Russia? <laughs> no. It sounds like some gangster ass shit like that though. Who would steal from a tattoo shop? And that what are they stealing? I know, what do you steal? I'm gonna steal your ideas, bro, and your inspiration. I'm gonna steal all your fucking stainless steel rubber gloves or whatever <laughs> you have there. <laughs> Machines and wires. And I like how equipment. we're all breaking down the contents inside oh, of a that. fucking tattoo yeah. store. Yeah. Yeah. Everything you guys think that there is it. Your ashtrays. <laughs> I'm gonna steal all your nipple rings. All right, so this takes place in Brazil. Oh. Oh, oh Brazil. So they got plantains. Plantains. <laughs> and samba. So. There's this video that went really viral, but I'm not gonna show you guys a video because it doesn't really go anywhere. I'm gonna show you screenshots and the actual tattoo that he created on this teen. What happened was, was that this teen was caught stealing a bicycle from a one-legged man. Oh. And this well, I'm sorry, hold on a second. <laughs> I know, quick. exactly. Um, what? A one-legged oh. man that's biking? I guess you could ride with one bike, but it's gonna be a lot harder and you're gonna go a lot slower than everybody else. You stole a bicycle from a one-legged man? That's yeah. fucked up. That's really fucked up. Yeah, and so the tattoo artist uh, cornered the team because he saw him do that, and he ended up tattooing his forehead. So this is what it looked like. Did he just have a mas machine that was like portable and then he fucking just stab like that? Or did he just beat his ass, drag him into his shop, sat him down on the chair, prepared his uh, table, cause you have to prepare the table with like ink and you have to put the gloves on, you have to wash his forehead, and then you yeah, you get the needle, you put it in the machine, you dip it, and then you put it on his forehead. That shit's a whole process. You maybe he had to shave the forehead a little bit. Just cause there's a little bit the hair he didn't try to run away, he just stood there and just he took it. He got so scared he was gonna get his ass beat. That shit takes time. I just get my fucking ass beat. Me too. Yeah. If I found out I was gonna get tattooed on my forehead, I'm gonna just kick my ass please. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky because you barely have any space. I know, that's why it's very valuable. <laughs> this is like real estate in like Hong Kong. You have like two <laughs> real estate in Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah there's, no more, there's no more space in fucking Tokyo right here. It's a billboard right there. <laughs> they should be so, paying you for that ad. This is a still from the video. This is what the kid looks like. God damn it, Isaac. <laughs> I know, he reminded me of Isaac too. I was like... <gasps> oh, I hope he doesn't look like that when he's older. And this is when he was oh, getting oh, tatted. Uh, and... He must not be a very good tattoo artist because this is the result. Oh, Whoa. shit. He's saying I'm a thief? Yeah, he's saying I'm a thief and a loser. <laughs> oh. I feel bad for the kid though. Was he tied down to the chair? No, he looks oh. like he was just sitting there. Yeah, he was just sitting there. And so the whole video, it's in Portuguese, I couldn't understand. Mm. They yeah. probably beat his ass every time he moved, that's mm. why. But he looks so scared. I mean, you could see, he looks really scared. Like he's gonna die. Yeah, he's like really terrified. And so this video surfaced and it went viral. And apparently the mother of this kid contacted the police and the police arrested the tattoo artist on a... Uh, on charges of torture. Oh, they didn't make him a hero? No. That's kind of crazy what he <laughs> I think it's funny yeah. as fuck, but it is cruel and unusual. Yeah, because he named him. Yeah, he should have at least like kept him and then called the cops and then turned him in. That should have been the extent yeah. I mean, of the exchange. If it was a rapist, I, that would be fine. Like, I'm a rapist on his forehead. But oh, he's thieving oh, a bicycle. Yeah. And he's a kid. He's a kid, yeah, 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 you're right. You know how many things we, we stole? Imagine if we fucking took like candy from CVS and someone strapped us down and tattooed a fucking fat dick on our forehead and said dickhead. You would have yeah. never stole again? True. Probably never have a job yet. <laughs> I would have learned how to do it better next time. Oh, no. You never learn. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm just thinking is that this dude is just gonna grow out his hair so that it just covers his whole entire He's forehead. He's gonna go for that Justin Bieber look. Or a bull haircut? I just think that this kid is gonna grow fucked up now. Like, it doesn't give him an opportunity to grow. Like, that doesn't do that. And when you're a kid, you make a lot of stupid fucking mistakes, and he could have done a way different job. Yeah, like, that's a bummer. When we say we're gonna tattoo somebody's face, it's not for stealing a bike. It's for, it's for like, raping or something. It's taking away something from someone that can't be returned. Yeah, a bike mm -hmm. you can return. Like, you, you ate three children. Maybe the tattoo artist had uh, anger issues. I think so. <laughs> uh, maybe the way he stole from the one-legged 
man was really fucked up. Like, what if he like punched him, pushed him off the bike, he fell on the floor, he's elderly, and then he took the bike and like, it was just done so violently that the tattoo artist was like, what the fuck? Even then, I don't think he deserves a tattoo across his forehead. I but... think what that kid deserved was a fucking ass whooping, like to yeah, the point where maybe he, he was like, he almost died. I think this part's kind of sad, but the boy actually went missing. They can't find him. Of course. Because oh, he has that on his forehead, so he's all, yeah, he's all scared. Yeah, he's like really worried oh for him. Like God. they're thinking the well, worst. I know, but the good thing is that he's easy to spot. Sorry. <laughs> uh, he went missing because they think he ran away or it's foul play. Kill? No, so what happened was um, the tattoo artist said, I don't know what happened to this kid. I tatted his forehead and I let him go. But, like, he, he never went home. Like, they, they never knew his whereabouts at all. Because he's probably scared to face his parents because it's going to say, I stole something, right? Or yeah. you think the tattoo artist killed him? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. That the tattoo artist killed him? It seems like the way everything happened, and this is just me, like my own speculation. There's not any reports that I read. But just it seems like the way everything happened, like the, the tattoo artist had some like ties with gangs or some shit. Because like this teen was like so scared. And the fact that he went missing and like the, the tattoo artist and his friend that was recording the video, they've both been charged and arrested. And they still can't find the kid. So it's like... I don't know, but I'm, I'm just thinking the worst. That's just where my mind went. I don't think he uh, killed them because if he was really gang affiliated, he would just turn them. Yeah. And he'll make him one of his minions and make him part of his gang because now he has something on him. And then so now that kid has to work for him. That's true, too. And that's yeah, too much work to tattoo and then kill somebody. Yeah. Like, it doesn't it doesn't prove his point. Like, it's too... It's... You guys are right. I just thought the worst. Why would he want to kill him? You think, like, you, like to tell? Was that what you're thinking? Like he would, the kid would tell on them or something? I have no oh. idea. That's just, I'm telling you guys, well, that's, that's just where, where my mind went. went. I don't know. I it's kind of, it's, it sucks though, man. Like he just, he's a kid, man. Oh. Just from that picture, he looks hella young, dude. Yeah. He does. He looks like yeah, he he's looks like, like 16 he or 18. He looks like he's in that awkward stage. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's that awkward teen stage. He should be playing basketball. You know, I stole a few bikes. I wouldn't want anything on my forehead after doing that. <laughs> But I never did it from a one-legged man. That's fucked up. You knew who you were stealing from? No, I just got it off the fucking bike rack. You could have stolen from a one-legged person. <laughs> no, but it's different. Like, one is you're pushing a person off the bike and you're taking it from them. And another one is you're just cutting the chain and riding off with it. No one said how this guy took the bike. How would he know it was a one-legged man? Because he probably knows the bike. No, but the tattoo artist saw it, though. It had to be, like, in front of him or something. I don't know. I, I think it's kind of funny, though. I know you, Mr. J. Joseph, you took my bike, I only got no legs. I think it's because of the fact that he looks like Isaac too, it's just really like, I'm just like, oh, that poor kid. I hope Isaac doesn't grow up looking like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That fool got a shape of a gray alien head. <laughs> Look at that, he has a thin ass fucking <laughs> cheek that goes straight down like a, he's like a guitar pick shape head. That's interesting that the tattoo artist took that picture, right? He took it. You know what the funny thing is? And I don't mean to make a joke about this. However, if you just remove the tattoo, it looks like he's trying to be sexy. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It looked like he had been crying. Of course, I'd be crying too. That there, shit probably hurts like a motherfucker. And there's probably a certain sense of fear of death if somebody sat there to get tattooed on his fucking forehead. Cause yeah. I That's would exactly just, what I was thinking too. That means there was no way out for him. Yeah, cause yeah. I would just run for my fucking life, dude. How come he didn't really pieces? plan out the spacing well either? He like ran out of space over here. It was so crazy, dude. Damn, he was digging deep in there though. I could tell he fucked it up. He wasn't delicate at all. He dug. He dug deep. He has to live with that shit for the rest of his life. Yeah, the punishment doesn't really fit the crime. I don't think so, cause stealing isn't as bad in my world. Yeah, when the submissions are people writing like the suggested news category as Jamali and Justice, I'm like, mm, no, I don't think that's this is not. Justice. What? You guys don't know me that well. <laughs> I think stealing is, you know, you can, you could, you could, you could be forgiven if you give them back things or give equal value back. It's just possessions, right? But when you take away things that can't be replaced, like somebody's asshole's been ripped apart, or something has been wrongly, wrongly done. But you know what? I take that back, because I said if a burglar comes into my house, then I'm fair game, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, you know why? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he went back on what he said like four times. <laughs> Dude, Joe Molly is gonna be all fucked up. <laughs> when you enter the privacy of someone's home, that's just as bad as rape. That's why. So he's, he's still in public, so it's yeah. different. Yeah, when you're in public, that's kind of like when you're at the dog park. Right? You're, it's neutral territory, right? If something happens out there, that's different. But if you come into the kingdom uninvited, watch your butthole. Oh, it's Joe. So what would happen in Jamalia, like, for this kid? Stealing a bike from one-legged man. I would ask the one-legged man what he would like to do because it's always personal and justice is subjective to the individual and if he was harmed or he felt harmed, it's up to him to decide. I, I, I believe in freedom of choice. You know, there's a lot of true freedoms in Jomalia. In America, not so much. Everyone has to follow the same rule. I don't like that shit. So if the one-legged man said, you know what? As long as he says sorry, I'm cool. Oh. And I'll be like, cool, say sorry. Say so and then he says sorry and I go, but you still gotta get canned in the asshole once. But if the one-legged man goes, I want him to die, then I'll be like, all right, cool. That's your punishment. For stealing a bike? Yeah, because you decided to violate this person and you made him feel bad. Jamalian justice. I don't want to live in Jamalia. Like spread ass cheek just, just ah, right in the butthole. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. But if you didn't, guess what? You can directly contribute to the articles that we discussed. Just cruise on over to the description box below. Click on that link to submit your article. Also, for the next video, Right up here.